So, first off, I'm sorry I haven't made a video in like a month now. Um, but now I'm gonna start the new series. And uh, in this series, I plan on using the newest version of GLFW. So, in this video, I'll show you how you can install GLFW3 uh, on, on a Mac. So, uh, first you need a couple of things. And the first thing you need is obviously Xcode. Uh, you can simply get it off the Mac App Store. And the most current version is 4.6.3. The second thing you need is CMake. Uh, if you don't know what CMake is, it's basically a small little program which you can use to make uh, make code projects out of uh, loose files. And you of course need GLFW itself. I'll give a link in the description to the download page. Um, make sure to download uh, the first item, so the source archive. So the GLFW folder looks like this. It has all sorts of files. Notice it has a file called cmakelists.txt. This is the file that cmake needs to make uh, the project file. Uh, cmake also needs a place to build it's, um, the project file. So I recommend you make a new folder inside of the shell.w folder and call this and call this folder build. And open up CMake. Uh, CMake needs two things: the location of the file, of uh, the source files, and a place to build the project file. So just keep them up, up top, and then press configure. Uh, make sure Xcode is selected, and use and use default native compilers. Then click on done. Then you'll get all of this now. Uh, Select the first the first row, so build a share lips and click on the little box. Uh, this will build the library as a dynamic library instead of a static library. Then press on configure to save the changes and click on generate. So now CMake has made all sorts of stuff in the build folder. But what we need is the glf.xcode project. So click on that and Xcode will open. Now we have all sorts of stuff. We have uh, a couple of examples of uses for glw and OpenGL. But what we need is the install target. So click on the project manager and, and then you'll see between the targets install now. Go here up top and select install. And this will, this will basically install the library for us. So now, if we do product built for archiving, Xcode will basically install the library for us. Okay. Now, turn to the build folder and then click on source, release. And here is our library. So I, so I recommend you, you rename this to each, uh, to libglf v3 uh, simply because it's simpler if you have an older version of the library installed. Then press on command shift g and then uh, type slash user. And uh, a user is basically it's a top level folder and it's invisible normally. So so the only way you can get there is by command shift G. Then click on local and now go to include. So this is basically where the library is installed. Inside of the GLW folder, you'll find the files you will include in your projects. Now return to the local folder and click on the look folder. I recommend you put your library inside of here. So Xcode will uh, will find it easier. Now, um, well, you can actually place your library wherever you want, but, but I recommend you do it here. Now, make a new file in the Xcode. Make sure it's a command line tool. Name it whatever you want. I'll name mine this CLW. Make sure it's a C++ project. It doesn't matter. Well, I recommend to use 
you select this so use automatic reference counting then come next and place it wherever you want to create your project and you know, whatever is now first make sure you have the command line tools installed so if you check it simply press command uh, command comma then go to downloads and make sure you have this installed so the command line tools now uh, go to your project manager and make sure you have to have your project selected then uh, in architectures so in the build settings tab architectures and then base SDK select current OS X then go to targets build phases link with libraries and make sure to add the OpenGL library I mean the OpenGL framework and of course the GLFW so the GLF3 now if Xcode doesn't find the library immediately you can press on add other and then just uh, browse your your system till you find it okay now go to your main SVP file and make sure you you always include include glf slash glf 3 no page and if this compiles which it will everything is working just fine so i want to start a new series on how to make a game uh, again with OpenGL and of course a glf w3 uh, this time i'll probably make a first person shooter so yeah stay tuned guys